Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Rockwell Factory Talk view, how you can move displays from one application to the other. Let me show you. Um, I've got uh, application A, right? From I've got a bunch of screens that I want to move from this application to application B over here, right? Uh, I've only got four here, so I'm trying to I'm going to try and move displays from here to there. So let me arrange my windows here. Uh, this is application B here and application A. I'm going to move here. So I'm going to move from this side to that side. So basically, there's two ways to do it. One way would, would be to use the import and export tools from Factory Talk View Studio. What you do is that you right click from the source application and hit import export and you click export here. Click next. So they give you an option to select all or clear all, right? So I'm going to clear all for now, and I'm going to select the first, say, four or maybe six of them, first six of them, and hit next. So it's going to create a bunch of XML files uh, and a batch import file in this directory. So let me show you what I mean by that. Click next. There you go. And then if you go to your um, document folder, you'll see all these XML files. These are individual displays, and this is the file that you use to do a batch import. So what I mean by that is that you right-click on display here on your destination application, import, import. They'll ask you if you want to make backup, just say no for now, and click next, and you do multiple displays, hit next. And then now you're going to select the batch import file, this guy here, open, and you click next finish so it create all the displays for you for if you want to do a individual screen you can definitely do it but you got to have a template first so I'm gonna make a duplicate of this I'm gonna just call it call it s main s and you have to clear clear everything in here so I'm just gonna clear, clear this guy save it close it and park it back again so uh, we go back to your source uh, application, import, export, right? Um, you can export single or you can export multiple, right? I'm going to, just for an example, I'm going to import maybe four more, hit next. And I'm going to show you how you can do a single screen. But again, you got to duplicate before you do anything at all. So you go right click here, import, import, next, no backup, next single this time around and then over here you guys select the file that you the graphic screen that you want to import say compressor anaflex that's what i don't have double click and then uh, you got to use either you have to use the one that uh, you duplicate just now right here and hit finish and it's successfully imported right and you just go ahead and you got to rename that screen just like that okay. so that's how you do a single screen another way to import files display files from a, a pre-existing application to the new one would be to drag and drop so before you do anything click on display first you have to do this first and then you select say the screen that you want say d high for this example you click it you drag it and you drop it anywhere here and you click on display again. So it does this uh, bar thing and your DI screen comes in here. So let's, let me show you another, another example one more time. Display, say this time around face pit, faceplate PID, drag it, drop it, display. Right? You have to select display first, say PLC diagnostic, drop anywhere here, display. And last one more time, say bypass. Make sure it's display selected, bypass, drop it anywhere, display. Okay, that's, that's, those are the two ways you can actually import files from one application to the other. You can go the other way if you like, but the procedures are the same. Well, anyway, I hope you learned something. If you like this uh, YouTube video, please subscribe and like. It will help me a lot. Other than that, have a good day. Bye.